down and just all up the sun. Money rock on. And yeah, tonight discussion is going to be on the solar flag activity and DNA transformation. Because that's what is taking place right now. All right? There was an article according to spaceweather.com that came out on Monday, the 14th of February, 2011. And um, it started talking about how the sun was unleashing the strongest solar flare of that of the year, of last year. Now, this comes into this year because exactly a year later, there was another report starting around the same time of this year, February the 14th. All right? So a lot of this solar flare activity was happening on Love Day, or what is known as Valentine's Day. Of course, you know, that's the satanic um, meaning of it, because, you know, that blood flowed in the streets, in which that the blood turned brown, in which that became symbolic to chocolate. All right, but, you know, um, St. Valentine, um, long story behind that, you go and look that up. I don't think it's over here. However, the sun launches Earth direct solar flare. Um, that's what the article states, and that it was talking about that NASA Solar Dynamic um, Observatory recorded an intense flash of extreme ultraviolet radiation. So, you know, and now you got to understand that when ultraviolet radiation bombards the planet Earth, you as a melanated being, your melanin becomes a superconductor with large amounts of ultraviolet light. Now, if you don't believe me, get the book. It's called Unk. Um, the introduction was done by Brother Hiru Samaj, who is the husband of Queen of Pua, and is written by Nur Ak. Amen. Nur Ur Amen. And um, he states that instead, under the visible light spectrum, has an energy gap in it. However, when ultraviolet light is thrown into the mix, melanin becomes a superconductor. In other words, it speeds up the message coding. It activates the non-coding or inactive junk DNA. This is what's going on. Now, the eruption produced a loud blast of radio waves, in which that was heard by shortwave receivers around the day side of the planet, um, in particular, uh, it was a, um, a radio astronomer named Thomas Oshkry, in which that recorded these sounds, in which that at 19 to 21 megahertz, he says there was some of the strongest radio bursts of the new solar cycle. He says, what a great solar day. All right, now. If you get quantum physicist, um, Nishio Kakaku, he's a Japanese scientist um, here in the United States, in which that he states that 2012 looks like it's going to be the largest solar flare um, year, the most powerful one out of over 100 years. This is documented according to NASA. In quantum physicists. So this year, 2012, of, you know, which correlates to the Olmec Mayan calendar. All right, some say that it ended October the 28th of last year. Um, some say it's getting ready to take place December the 21st and that, um, of 2012, and that that possibly could be the Illuminati um, date for this trend. It doesn't matter. We know that the planet the sun, the solar system is going to be in perfect alignment with Alcyon, which is the central sun, in the Palladium. And this sun, Alcyon, is hundreds of times larger than our sun. All right? And currently, we were sitting on the outer arm band, and we are graduating and we're moving from in, the, um, in what is called the dark rift, or dark rift. All right, rest. Um, you can look this up also. And it's 